When I was 13, I started playing with makeup and uh, I used to go to the supermarket and get like all those um, cheap uh, cosmetic items like mascara and the eyeliner and lipstick and I would just like stand in the bathroom and like play on my face like just start coloring on my face um, for like 2-3 hours and my sister would be like, what are you doing inside? <laughs> for such a long time and I would come outside with like this foundation that doesn't even match my skin <laughs> and then like eyeliner all over my eyes and this like bright pink lipstick um, so that's how I started playing with makeup and then um, I used to watch these makeup videos on YouTube and that was really interesting to me because at that time uh, nobody in my family was really talking about makeup or they didn't even uh, wear that much makeup. I asked my mom, can I buy this eyeshadow palette? Um, it's really cheap but it has a lot of colors, it'll be really uh, helpful for me. And so she bought me um, an eyeshadow palette and she got me this brush set online. Um, and then I started playing with that. But I never used to wear um, makeup outside until I really thought I was good at it. So I used to wear it to meetings uh, later on and then like wearing it uh, when I used to go out with my friends and then I felt confident enough to uh, know when to wear what kind of makeup, what occasion I should wear a natural makeup and like something that uh, looks really good for daytime and when I used to go out with my friends so like I knew what makeup I should wear for which occasion. Now I'm really confident about the way that I wear my makeup. If I'm really running late, I just wear a concealer, mascara, and lipstick. Um, so that's really my go-to makeup. But if I'm going to meetings, I like to have something that looks good in the light so that you can ac actually see my features instead of being washed out. So it depends on where I'm going. Um, I would give up my straightener and curler. Um, I would rather have natural hair than give up all my makeup because that's what I really like wearing. I've spent too much time practicing to just like throw it all away. My favorite quote is be the change you want to see in the world because so many times we complain about all the wrong things that are going on in the world but we don't do anything to change it. So it all starts with us. Just the little thing that we do makes a big difference. So when we practice that in our lives, that makes a big difference. Like you get to influence other people to keep doing it and that, that keeps, um, it keeps on going and repeating and it will make a big change. It's better to do something little from your part than do nothing at all. Like just picking up trash and just putting it in the trash can instead of just putting it in the road. That makes a big difference especially if you complain about that. <laughs> yes, beauty uh, comes from uh, your character mainly because if you have good character and if you show good character, if you treat people nicely and kindly, then that exudes beauty. Sometimes people need makeup or people need to dress a certain way to feel confident and when they feel confident, that good character comes out in a more better way um, and you can see the joy they have in their life because they're confident. Little things like this makes people confident, so it may be important for certain people. It's not mandatory, it's per obviously personal preference, but everybody needs a little push to feel confident. So to me, I don't need makeup to feel fully confident, but it's just a fun thing for me to just play, play around and just uh, just wear makeup, but some people might need makeup to feel confident and show their good, uh, good character more openly and give them that push. It doesn't mean that they only have good character if they wear makeup or dress a certain way. It's just to give that push to uh, show um, that uh, beauty that's in them already.